Battle. Wario. the next game we've got john numbers and bd bean going at it in winners quarterfinals bd bean right no stranger to tri-state and john i mean needs no introduction here at xeno but bd going to try and i and do it once again i believe he's taken a numbers set in the past though i might be mistaken Ooh. um but he's certainly come close before and someone who can be anybody in oh. Tri-State on a good day. He's been playing so well today. I mean, he actually stole, I would say, a game off of uh, Mishka, a really great Samus player. It was like, he was up at like 100%, Mishka was at zero, and of course Mishka does a screw attack off stage and he gets a down air, and it's like, oh, that's, that's death. That was last talk. So BD Bean, obviously playing so well today. We'll see how far he gets. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. it was like pretty much down to the wire, and then John was able to win that offstage interaction over on the right-hand side, and BD Bean just taking a lot of damage now in this second stock. Not able to seal a deal on John Numbers. Might be able to force the issue here, but no, not able to find those forward airs off the stage that BD Bean's probably used to landing it. John Numbers is so comfortable offstage, playing safe. I love that, that forward air you mentioned in the corner, right? And then tried to find the landing mix up into the back here. Didn't find it, but did get the wheelie kill. Shades of olden days coming back once again. BD now able to at least close out the stock, but as you mentioned, and AG, just so much extra work left to do because once Weavit takes that stock from you, it's so good at getting defensive chip damage. Right, right. And the walk is still here. I think this set is really gonna this game is really gonna come down to how BDB wants to use this. Does he want to take that second stock or does he want to save it just to clutch it out? I think it's one of those things where you have to just see what situation you're provided. If you're presented the opportunity for a red or for a walk confirm on this stock, you take it, you cash it in, you try to find that half oh, walk yeah. stock three. That might be optimal, but if you don't, you don't want to force it. BDB hit Nair one and John Numbers ran off the yep. stage. Yep. You just say, hey, I don't want to like, deal nope, with this. I'm out of here. I am good with that. Thank you. That bike yeah. going for that's, another that's, head and run. I was going to say, that's oh. New York. Finding the salute the sun. John Numbers getting out of there like the New York City congestion taxes <laughs> are in effect. <laughs> that's crazy, too. because like, I will walk. The bike would block sun salutation, but BDB picked it up like a moment before the projectile came, and that's what made it land right there. Nair, too, on the yep. ground. Just not going to link up. Just a pop out up from the mistech, too. Right. It was actually a really smart use to just chase with it, even after that initial hit he was looking for. Miss trying to find the extension, but now on that last talk scenario, Swiss, I think your question's been answered. I think he's forced to try and use this waft here and fast if he wants to even get another half waft potentially to close out the game. Oh, yeah, another. and he's got time to do it, so might as well use it. <laughs> wind box whoa, whoa, too whoa, from the whoa. neutral special. Oh, no. Not working there out. There it is. What the on the stage. <laughs> No! <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's good damage, I guess? Yeah, yeah. And this could still lead to the stock, but. John yeah. Numbers just... I mean, BD Bean stock. Yeah, <laughs> not exactly what I thought was going to happen. Somehow, Numbers finds a way on and a crazy punish too with the forward smash. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, BD Bean, I don't know if you saw that there at the end, but BD Bean guessed that roll right. Yeah. He yeah. just missed it. Mm -hmm. Like, he just panicked a little bit. You get in your head, right, when it the all nerves. comes down to the wire against a player like John Numbers, and 
you start to make some technical mistakes. It happens to everybody, right? We see the best players in the world when everything's on the line, right? Players just start to break down a little bit. Right, right. And numbers? Numbers is like the immovable object in that regard. He just does not change. No, he does. He's Whoa. so stoic the whole time. I don't know. Oh, no. I, I've seen this man get a little angry the last few weeks. I think oh. just because he's hit this plateau and he feels like he should be doing better against players that are kind of following like a simpler game plan with characters that can get away with more things. That's a good way to put it, I think. <laughs> yeah. But one thing also, too, that's true for BD Bean is that, you know, Wario has that sort of fear factor of the WAF. It kind of works against him sometimes, too. As the Wario player, after you spend that big check, you realize, oh, numbers didn't actually die, didn't lose the stock. Uh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> he grabbed him out of the That's bike. Crazy. And He's I like, also, you're coming with me. Citizen's I, arrest. <laughs> I like that point as well, L, because while Wario, you know, is one of those characters that gets a lot off of not interacting with you, right? Because he gets to charge Waff. Weefit gets to charge Salute the Sun, gets deep breathing, and gets to basically become a much better character for you getting, say, 10 seconds of Waff charge. So whereas Wario in a lot of matchups wants to kind of slow down the pace of play and play really defensively, you can't do that against Wii Fit Trainer. And I think John is taking full advantage of that so far. I'll say shout out to uh, Burst down there. I was like, I do not remember his other name, but Burst. Burst taking the game off of Luis. Yeah, I never know. Every time I'm like, oh, Burst is here, and then like Burst will walk on stream, it's just a different tag. Like, Completely. Oh, okay. it's, it's like a meme at this point. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My, I think my favorite uh, five, uh Five Noches con Alfredo. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> five Noches con Alfredo. It's a GamerCon <laughs> special. Yeah. yeah, the classic. Ooh, that's a good look. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Well, I'll give it up, John Numbers. You, yeah. you got it. Wow, you got, got it, it again. <laughs> Red the Air Dodge, too. That's uh, like. It makes sense to read an air dodge there, but reading that it was just going to be the full air dodge in with no right, drift right. mix-up or anything with Wario and the bike in the tank. Very heads-up play from numbers, but and able to get that stock for his troubles. However, BDB with a four throw going to push you to the corner has a prime opportunity to even this one back up. He just needs to play patient. And so tough though. You can see BD Bean usually gets a lot off of Fordo at the ledge because it's a pretty good hitbox. Maybe down or off stage, but John is taking these routes that just make it so difficult. Like finally we see uh, one hit, but he makes it back anyway because of that wonderful vertical recovery. But, ooh, okay. I love that pressure there. Down till basically just the pressure of the shield and like pivot back there. But oh, okay, big combo here for BD Bean. Wow, oh found, my goodness. What? I'm sorry, was it, is this launch warrior? Because he just found the up tilt extension on platform. Throwing yeah. it back like nobody's business, BDB, by locking you down at ledge with neutral air, trying to find the combo, looks for that waft again, but Numbers, once again, ready for it. He's seen it before, and it didn't work the first time. I understand BDB was feeling it, because I was also feeling it for BDB. Really good pressure right there. All the hits were working out, weaving oh, around the defense, deep. too. But John Numbers, man, he's so good at finding those hits. Even with like a pretty diverse recovery that Wario has, you can kind of find the holes in it, especially if you're an experienced player like John Numbers. I mean, he's also just so floaty, you can kind of follow it. Oh, him again, no. but that hula hoop, that hitbox, so incredibly active. Such an awkward thing to play around and comes out so incredibly fast. Frame four, just one behind by menaces like Game & Watch and others. Oh. Numbers now gonna push you to the ledge and BDB and trying to just find a way back. Able to do so with the up special and at least give himself a second to recuperate. Yeah, Ooh. he's gonna try and at least use the walk here on stage. It's not too powerful, but at least it'll give him something. Should be just about a half block coming up soon. The bike has also been showing up a lot. BD Bean, a bit of a technician with that thing recently. We've seen a lot. Oh, okay. By using it to get the oh, semi there we go. That was... Don't save him there. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> using it to slow down the move so it just kind of stays out longer. Down here usually just gives you the semi spike most of the time anyway. Yes. The move is very good, but Let sort of land. running okay. into the bike. I love the wind box used for the neutral special. Yeah, John is. And using it to like conceal yeah. the dash attack? What is going on? And then and using it too so he can move faster to then catch it. That was John Numbers playing 9,000 IQ chess. BD Bean's supposed to be the bike technician, but John's saying, hey man, I've got that mechanic shop apprenticeship under my belt as well. <laughs> now just BD Bean trying to get away and gonna Aww. take the drive by all the way to the blast zone. John Numbers lining it up and just. Sometimes all he needs a back air. Yeah, yeah, John definitely was just kind of putting a lot of pressure by, you know, forcing the issue, charging the moves, and then.